it's thinking. What was thinking in 1999 on our number eight on our top 10 video game systems of all time? Well, it's the Sega Dreamcast, and here to tell us about it is our very own Gooch. Gooch, tell us about this beautiful piece of technology. The Sega Dreamcast. It came out 6-6-66-61. Six, six, the system it sold. <laughs> oh, God, what now? 66-61, huh? Um, that's what I fucking read. Well, this is either going to be two possibilities. One, you have just time traveled and become the first person ever to time travel, just that's like Doc Brown. Holy or, shit! Or, or, oh, or, or what? you're reading the paper upside down. Well, fuck me running backwards and sideways. You don't sideways. have a flux capacitor, moron. Keep reading. I got a flux capacitor in my pants, you bastard. Anyway, information that you want to hear, not about my pants or my flux capacitor for you ladies out there. Yeah, 225,000. You know what that is? How many pants you own? No. Close, though. Very close. 225,000 in 24 hours. That's how many units the Dreamcast sold. Units. Units, not the unit in my pants. It's 225 something else. So just in one day, Sega's off to a booming start. Booming start, and in two weeks, even better. They fucking over doubled that. Half a million in two weeks. They're making records with this system. So in 1999, Sega's back on the market and is back on the prowl. Back on the prowl. Great system, great launch. But you know what's even better? Great games. Great games. Great games make a great system. They're great! <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Why don't we just talk about games, you frosted flake? You want great games? I want great games. I will give you great games give with me the help him. of my favorite blue mascot, Sonic the Hedgehog, and his debut game on the Sega Dreamcast and the launch game for the Dreamcast as well, Sonic Adventure. Ooh, Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 both kicked a lot of ass. Playing in 3D at hyper-fast speed. Yes, moving very quickly, not dropping a frame. Great. Other great games? Resident Evil Code Veronica. Yes, now this game was ported to the PS2 in the later years, but the original was the best on the Sega Dreamcast. Blasting zombies in a 3D environment with 128-bit graphics, blood so crisp, so detailed, you could taste it if yeah. you wanted to, but you probably don't want to. Yeah, you taste blood, don't you, you sick fuck. Anyway, let's talk about games. Let's talk about one of my favorite, Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi, a fun game from the arcade, came to the Dreamcast, and looked exactly the same. Played great, and if you like Offspring, there's a lot of great music in that game. Ah, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, don't sing. You know what you want to do? You fight. You fight with Soul Calibur. Oh, Soul Calibur. One of the very few games from EGM to get the perfect rating of a score of 10. Yes, perfect score. Not an easy thing to do. Very few games get it. Soul Calibur nailed it. EGM Platinum. Yeah, for a fighting game, a perfect score, that's pretty much unheard of. A game that was very addictive to play as well. Yes. Other addictions? Fantasy Star Online. Oh, one of the first online RPG games you could play for any home system. And with the 56K modem, you would think, oh man, it takes forever to dial up to get the system going. Not the case. As soon as you logged in, bam, right to the second detailed action with your controller, no lag time. Yeah, no lag time. That's what you gotta have. That game kicked ass. I spent a lot of hours tying up my phone line. Yeah. You wanna talk about tying up your phone line with games? Let's tie up your phone line with some fucking football. Are yes. you ready for some football? I'm ready for some NFL 2K. Forget Madden with Sega Sports NFL 2K and 2K1. Gave you online play for the first time ever with a home console system. In television, they kind of got it started in the 80s. Sega took it to that next level. The father of online play with NFL 2K1. Playing as your favorite NFL team, all 32 of them, which is a slight bit of lag time with the 56k modem but still sony didn't have it xbox didn't even exist yet nintendo 64 no dreamcast yes yes the dreamcast had it you want to talk about numbers i don't know numbers what i do know 2k1 nfl nfl 2k1 it outsold madden that year that's fucking crazy yeah you know what else made nfl 2k1 so great what's that three letters the M U. The virtual memory unit. Exactly. 
Using the virtual memory unit that plugs into your Dreamcast controller, you could select your plays right there in front of you instead of using the TV screen to give you the upper hand and not letting your opponent know what play you're selecting. Yeah, the VMU, it was an underused, underappreciated memory card. It plugged in the controller and you actually had a little screen that you could see certain actions. It's ahead of its time. Now with all these great things going for the Dreamcast at the time, what killed it off? There are two main reasons, and to tell us about them is the Gooch. Gooch, what were they? Yeah, I'm thinking the first reason is no DVD. Yeah, no DVD player. That hurts. With the PS2 right around the corner, and with the built-in DVD player, that made it the more obvious choice since back in the day DVD players were as expensive. Yeah, if you could get a 2-in-1, the double penetration that the PS2 got you, you might as well go for it. I mean, you get a game system and a DVD player, it's just, it's being smart. How about the second reason? Second reason, I'm thinking third-party support. Third-party th uh, third support, not there. Kind of there, I should say. We did have Capcom, yes, but that was about it. Yeah, you didn't really get much third-party support on the Dreamcast. This is mostly thanks to the Astard, Bernie Stoller. He cut the Saturn off prematurely after companies had invested millions of dollars. And people were kind of leery, thinking the Dreamcast wouldn't last that long. So why would you invest money and just lose it again? They're scared, and understandably so. Anybody that calls their own piece of technology a stillbirth, which he called the Saturn, is a complete moron. Yeah. Miss me. But the Saturn did kick ass. I mean, it did have downfalls, but not really anything negative. It just didn't, it just came out too early. And so did the Dreamcast. Again, just a little bit prematurely. But we're still seeing it go on today. It has a cult following. If you don't have a Dreamcast, do it to yourself as a favor to all video game players, to mankind itself, to play the Dreamcast. Get yourself one. Enjoy these great games. You will not regret it, and you'll be thanking us probably down the road. This has been the Douchebag, and for the Gooch, we will see you next time. We've got seven more systems to talk about. Have a great day. Later.